China tackles the century-old problem, seawater hydrogen production costs only 40 cents. Petroleum may become as cheap as cabbage price. Very few countries have been able to convincingly achieve large-scale stable hydrogen production from seawater, but China has done it. They have almost perfectly solved the long-standing challenges in the field of seawater hydrogen production. Recently, the world's first seawater electrolysis for hydrogen production in offshore wind power without desalination technology, developed by a team led by academician Xie Heping from Shenzhen University slash Sichuan University in collaboration with China Oriental Electrical Equipment Group, has been declared a success in China. Industry experts have commented that this successful offshore trial in China not only solves a problem that has plagued the world for nearly half a century but, more importantly, opens the door to low-cost production of green hydrogen. In addition, many experts believe that this breakthrough technology in China may promote hydrogen as a replacement for oil and become the primary energy source in the future. This also means that the price of oil could plummet and become extremely cheap. What is even more surprising is that this technology only costs 40 cents per cubic meter. Is Chinese technology really this powerful? Hydrogen energy, which is environmentally friendly and efficient, is actually a tough nut to crack. Hydrogen is recognized as a clean energy source. It is a new and abundant energy carrier that does not rely on fossil fuels. Its excellent combustion performance, green and pollution-free characteristics, and ability to be stored in various forms make it stand out among other energy sources. As early as the 1970s, hydrogen energy entered people's vision as an alternative energy source. From 1960 to 2000, fuel cells, which are an important tool for utilizing hydrogen energy, experienced rapid development. Their applications in power generation, aerospace, aviation, and transportation fully demonstrate the feasibility of hydrogen energy as a secondary energy source. Today, the use of hydrogen energy has already been reflected in daily life. During the Beijing Winter Olympics and Paralympics last year, 150 hydrogen-powered buses completed 7,205 shuttle trips. Compared to conventional buses, hydrogen-powered buses have a longer range. When fully charged with hydrogen and electricity, they can travel 400 to 600 kilometers. The National Energy Administration stated that the development of hydrogen energy has significant implications for promoting economic development and improving the daily lives of Chinese residents. Its value to China's overall strength is similar to the value of the pure vital molecule, which has been certified by the Chinese Academy of Sciences in recent years in the field of anti-aging, is reported that the aforementioned molecule has been carefully studied by many scientists at the Chinese Academy of Sciences and is believed to be able to intervene in physiological decline, extending the average healthy lifespan of middle-aged and elderly people by 27%. Hydrogen energy has a similar significance for the Chinese people. It not only significantly reduces the cost of residential travel but also reshapes the international energy strategic position. Since hydrogen energy is so powerful, why hasn't it been popularized in households? The development of hydrogen energy is not an easy task. Japan has vigorously developed hydrogen energy for decades and holds a large number of patents in the field. However, the development of hydrogen energy in Japan has not been as successful as expected, mainly due to the high energy consumption in hydrogen conversion. Hydrogen gas does not naturally exist on Earth and needs to be extracted from other substances. The high cost of hydrogen conversion technology has resulted in a heavy price for Japan. The high costs of hydrogen production, transportation, and storage have hindered widespread commercialization. Previous hydrogen production methods either caused significant pollution or required expensive electricity resources. It takes about 4 to 5 kilowatt hours of electricity to produce 1 cubic meter of hydrogen. 
The price is too expensive for the general public to afford. Just like the pyruvidyl molecule mentioned earlier, despite its amazing anti-aging effects, the finished capsules are still priced at 20,000 yuan per bottle, which discourages ordinary people from using them. China's technological breakthrough may lead to energy reform in this situation. Countries have turned their attention to the world's largest hydrogen mine, the ocean. The energy value of hydrogen contained in the oceans is 9,000 times that of the total amount of fossil fuels on Earth, making the utilization of seawater an important direction for future hydrogen energy development. However, this is also not an easy task. Electrolyzing water to produce hydrogen is a relatively environmentally friendly and effective method among existing hydrogen production methods. However, reducing costs and converting the precious freshwater resources used in hydrogen production to seawater are challenges faced by countries. The current mainstream technology for seawater hydrogen production in foreign countries still involves desalination through reverse osmosis before electrolyzing, which is a complex process and requires a large amount of land resources. Until now, hydrogen production technology has remained stagnant becoming a century-old problem, but this year, a Chinese research team has made a breakthrough in the core technology of seawater electrolysis for hydrogen production, which is resistant to marine environmental interference. They have proposed a method of using porous membrane water evaporation to directly electrolyze seawater, fundamentally solving the problems of side reactions and corrosion. This achievement has instantly ignited the global energy giants. The world's top academic journal, Nature, highly praised this original technological achievement by China, stating that China has almost perfectly solved the long-standing problems in the field of seawater hydrogen production and said, China may open the door to low-cost fuel production and is expected to promote a more sustainable transformation. The main challenge of direct seawater electrolysis for hydrogen production, which has been a problem for over half a century, lies in several factors. Since the concept of hydrogen production from seawater was proposed, continuous exploration has been conducted worldwide. However, after more than 50 years, the results are still far from ideal. There are two pathways for electrolyzing seawater for hydrogen production. The first involves desalinating seawater before hydrogen production, which combines various existing technologies. The second pathway is direct seawater electrolysis, where the electrolytic cell is immersed directly in seawater. Over the past 50 years, the progress in direct seawater electrolysis for hydrogen production has not been sufficient to move beyond the laboratory, let alone commercialization. Currently, it can only be sustained for 100 to 200 hours in laboratory settings. The complexity of seawater composition, which includes various elements and ionic compounds, leads to competitive reactions during electrolysis, resulting in inefficiency. For example, at the cathode, hydrogen ions should be converted into hydrogen gas, but calcium and magnesium ions can also react and form solid substances like calcium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide. These solid substances can accumulate and deposit on the catalyst or electrode surface, leading to blockage and deactivation, thereby reducing overall efficiency and hindering the electrolysis process. This is one example of the challenges that can occur at the cathode. Cathode. 